We're looking at 114.30 right now as an important short-term level of support for the euro that could develop into a more meaningful medium-term level of support. Last week, the market had dropped down to 14.30, but bounced after being unable to take out this level that had also been tested earlier in October and was unable to see a breakdown below. So 114.30 is where we're looking at as support. If the market can hold up here and push back above, showing follow through from that Friday bullish outside day, it could open the door for a significant upside. The next level of resistance is 116.20 about, which looks like a neckline of a double bottom, though we wouldn't classify it as that because an objective for a double bottom should usually be well off of where the high was in the move that preceded the double bottom. In this case, the objective would be right up into that massive level of critical resistance in the form of that June consolidation high, that consolidation high off the breakdown that we'd seen from April of 2018 when the market turned into an intense downtrend. If the market cannot established back above 116.20, however, and breaks down below that 114.30 support, it could open the door for an acceleration and retest down towards that 113 area 2018 low and maybe even below.